be recognized. over the years into the Hall of Fame, and we've never seen a turnout like this, like we have for this 2011 team. Half of this room is here for this soccer team. <laughs> Ever since the announcement was made, we were getting calls and hearing from people. We love those guys. That was the best St. Mary's team. Um, so besides the obvious winning, which you did a lot of, um, what is it about this team that makes you guys so special and bonded? What has created what we're seeing here tonight all these years later? Yeah, that's a, that's a big one. Um, I think, for, first of all, I have to acknowledge that like we're in a room of St. Mary's legends, and it's humbling to you know be here. So, so thank you all for the recognition, and, and this is just a quality event. It's, it's amazing. I'm speaking with Joe and Arnie up here. It's been, yeah, it's wild. Uh, um, that group, in particular, it was uh, it was a group that had been building over the over the years, and I think there was a cult cultural shift. Um, when I got here, Coop's, Coop was relatively new as a coach. We were picked to finish last in conference. Meanwhile, it was, it was the same time where we were seeing the, the basketball squad, right, get to the Sweet 16. And um, I think there was a, a hunger to get that, that first conference championship. Um, we had a lot of experience, which Coop mentioned in his video. Uh, we had, I think, nine, nine seniors, maybe, and a handful of juniors. We, uh, we, it, it was one of those seasons with a lot of ups and downs, but it, it, was, it was a team that had a, had a group of guys where an individual would step up seemingly every game with a big, a big time play or performance, right? And, and, and then the guys that didn't even play, they were bringing the energy. Um, and then we had two, a couple new coaches, both head coaches now for their own college programs. And so it was, it was like this building into what was almost like a, this perfect scenario of events. And yeah, I mean, if you have that in any sport, you're going to find success. So it was, it was a combination of that. Um, Coop, this is clearly a special group. Um, what was it like to coach this team? and have so many victories. We, you mentioned that that North Carolina loss is actually one of your favorite memories. But when you look back on that season, what do you think of the most? Uh, as Tommy said, this group had been building um, for a while. 2009, we made the NCAA tournament for the first year, and uh, first time in school history. Uh, and we lost in the first round. Uh, and that stung, but it was a good learning lesson. Uh, for the team, for, for the school, right? We had never done that before. 2010, we lost one of our team members. Um, and, you know, that obviously is still painful to this day. But the strength that it gave this group and the bond that it created with this group and why so many of them are here is a big part of it. And in 2011, we actually stunk before conference started. Um, I think we were 1-3-3 and three and three going into WCC play. Uh, and back then, we played everybody in our conference twice, and we were a little bit up and down. Um, but as Tommy said, the experience that we had with our older guys really got us through uh, some of those tough games. Um, with you know a whole new staff almost, Leonard Griffin, who's here tonight, who's now the head coach at Cal, um, Chris Brown, um, who's now the head coach at University of San Francisco, Dylan Leslie, who thankfully got out of coaching. Um, <laughs> just kidding, Dylan, we love you. Uh, but, but I mean, in all seriousness, Tommy and the seniors were the one that really led the team. Um, they really were, and, and it made my job easier, but it also was, again, it had been building. Um, and the bond that, they, that this group had from all the experiences that they went through, positive and heartbreaking, um, really led this group to where it was. And 
You saw that uh, in the NC Toy Tournament when we played Cal State Bakersfield. That was probably the best team we saw up until North Carolina. They were fantastic. Uh, but at no time as a coach did you feel nervous, right? We knew we got it. As soon as we, he scored the goal, um, as soon as we scored the goal against him, I'm like, all right, we're fine. And then we go down to Irvine. Um, it's pouring rain. Justin Howard still says he got ahead on that goal. I don't know if he did. Um, you know, but we went in double overtime. Um, I remember I got a call, you know, the game ended late at night. I got a call, hey, you know, you guys can either fly home at 6 a.m. from Ontario or drive home. I go, these guys aren't going to class tomorrow. We're, we're driving. So, you know, we drive home, had a police escort uh, and fire truck onto campus, which is pretty cool. And then got to go all the way to Providence on, you know, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, as you said, it was freezing. Um, we win the game, double overtime. I get a phone call and a video. There's a men's basketball game here that night, and the loudest cheer that night at the men's basketball game was when they announced our score. Um, and that was pretty cool. And then again, you come home, go all the way to North Carolina, uh, play an unbelievably good team, and um, you know it just shows the bond. And then you know not long after that, one of our another player was diagnosed with leukemia. Um, and again, it brings guys closer together and, and everything that they went through. I think I'm out of here after this question, right, to get over to the gym. But Matt, I want to congratulate you. And even though you broke my Eagles, I am rooting for the 49ers. All right, my last question for Tommy and for Coach. So what Elite Eight experience will you be able to share with Randy and his team when they make it this year? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that. Uh, I don't know, man. When you're when you're in that moment, right? We we won our first conference championship, and at that point we were playing with house money. I felt like so we were we were just we were we had the energy, we had the guys, we had the belief, and. That that month was like the time of my life. It's, it it was it, it it's hard to hard to replicate. But when when you, when you got a group of guys that just love each other and like we didn't want the we didn't want the thing to end, right? So you're just you're you're yeah you're you're playing for each other and you're 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 playing to live another day. It's the coolest thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just like anything, the harder things get, the more you got to stick together. Um, and you know, again, these guys stick together. You see, our basketball team always sticks together. The harder things get, the more you stick together, and the further you get to go. Congratulations.